Welcome to Fun Financial Insights, where we make the world of money as easy as counting your jelly beans. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the current financial landscape, where interest rates and the housing market are making headlines. Imagine interest rates are like a big pie, and right now, the pie is growing bigger. Do you understand how the high mortgage interest rate is affecting you? Do you know how you should budget your remaining paycheck for the year? Join us as we explore how this affects your finances and how you can make the best of this challenge. We're breaking it down so that it is simple and fun. The average 30-year fixed mortgage rate is like a magic number that tells us how much it costs to borrow money to buy a home. So last week, this number went up to 7.79%, which is the highest it's been since the year 2000. But wait, there's more. This rate has been going up for seven weeks in a row. You see, this is making it tough for people to buy homes, which makes the housing market a little bit more like a roller coaster ride right now. But don't worry because we have our very own superhero of personal finance, Dave Ramsey, to help us out. Dave Ramsey is a personal finance expert. He is like the captain of the financial ship, and he's telling us that even with these high interest rates, we shouldn't just sit around and wait for things to get better. Nope. Instead, he's giving us a treasure map. But before we can set sail on our financial adventure, we need to meet these two important conditions. Condition number one, be debt free. Imagine you owe money to some people, like when you borrow your friend's toys and you need to give them back. But what Dave Ramsey is saying is that before you buy a house, you should make sure you don't owe anyone any money anymore. It's like cleaning up your room before you go out and play. Condition number two, build an emergency fund. Next, Dave tells us to have something called an emergency fund. This is like having a secret stash of cookies for when you really, really need them. You should have at least $1,000 saved up, but then when you're all grown up and don't owe anyone any money, you can save even more money in your emergency fund. So if something goes wrong, like your bike getting a flat tire or you getting sick, you have money to help you out. These conditions are like special tools that make sure you're ready to buy a house without getting into financial trouble. It's like making sure you have all your superhero gear on before you go save the day. If you are a young person thinking about buying a house, these conditions are also important to consider because even though it is a good idea, here's the deal. Buying a house is not the same as renting. When you buy a house, you have to pay for lots of things like taxes, insurance, and sometimes even fees for your neighborhood's clubhouse. If you currently don't meet these two conditions, don't worry. We will talk about how you can. If you're finding these breakdowns and deep dives helpful, don't miss out on the rest. Subscribe to Fun Financial Insights for even more insights that help you understand today's financial realities in a simple and entertaining way and embark on the second part of the adventure. Hit that subscribe button and let's continue making the best of our finances together. Your support means the world to us. So thank you for being part of the Fun Financial Insights. Now let's talk about getting rid of debt. Debt is like having to do chores for your friends because you borrowed their stuff. Dave Ramsey gives us two ways to get rid of debt. The snowball method, which is like cleaning up your room one small part at a time. You start with the smallest debt, like the smallest things, and clean it up first. Once it's all clean, you go on to the next one. It's like getting your stuff in order from smallest to biggest. The avalanche method, is like cleaning up your room, but instead of starting with the smallest objects, you start with the messiest one or area. The messiest one is the one with the most interest, which is like extra mess you have to clean up. Once the messiest one is all clean, you go on to the next messiest one. This way you save more time because you're cleaning up the biggest messes first. Now about the emergency fund. Imagine you have a treasure chest with some old gold coins and you need to keep adding more coins. The first part of the treasure is like having $1,000. But when you grow up, you can turn that $1,000 into even more treasure, like having a treasure chest full of gold and silver. See, the emergency fund is like a safety net. So if something unexpected happens, you have a shield to protect you. Now you need to know more about the housing market. The effects of these rising interest rates have been profound. The housing market, once booming, has witnessed a dramatic slowdown. Potential home buyers are hesitant due to the burden of higher borrowing costs. 
while existing homeowners are reluctant to give up their lower rate mortgages. Dave Ramsey sees these challenges that potential home buyers are facing, but encourages them not to sit back and wait for conditions to improve. He believes that even in this climate, there are opportunities for those who meet the two conditions we discussed, being debt free and having an emergency fund in place. Ramsey suggests that now may be a suitable time to consider purchasing a home. Despite rising interest rates, he believes that the real estate market is still worth exploring, especially considering the continuous increase in house prices due to low inventory. For those who may not be convinced about buying a home in the current market, Ramsey also highlights alternative ways to invest in real estate while avoiding the extensive costs of ownership. Real estate investing trusts. These are like magic chests that hold lots of houses and buildings. When people live in those houses and pay rent, you get some of that money, like a share of the treasure. You can do this without having to own the whole house. Online crowdfunding platforms. Imagine all your friends want to buy a toy together, so you all put your money in a big treasure chest. Once you collect enough, you can buy the toy. This is like buying a piece of a house with your friends. You all share the treasure. These platforms allow everyday individuals like you to pool their money to purchase properties or shares of properties as a group, spreading the risk and potentially reducing individual investment requirements. Diversified real estate portfolios. It's like having lots of different toys, not just one. When you have many toys, you don't have to worry if one breaks. This is the same for houses. With a diversified real estate portfolio, you have many houses, so if one has a problem, you still have lots of others. Some online platforms provide the opportunity to invest in these. This approach maximizes returns while keeping fees low and is ideal for those who prefer a hands-off investment strategy. Remember, while it is a challenging environment, your goal is financial stability and success, and your choices should follow that goal. You need to decide if you need to manage your debt and build your emergency fund before you proceed to choose to buy a house or not. As the financial landscape continues to evolve with rising interest rates, it it's crucial to assess your finances and make the right decisions. Whether you're considering buying a home or exploring alternative real estate investments, the key is to align your choices with your financial goals and values. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Fun Financial Insights. We hope this exploration of the current financial reckoning and Dave Ramsey's wisdom has provided you with valuable insights. Remember, Understanding the financial world and making informed decisions are crucial steps on your journey to financial well-being. Subscribe for more insights and deep dives into today's realities.